Peggy 16. Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in loamy cotton fields. It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience, but now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forest? Or try flushing a flock of bobwhite quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem, requires some firepower. Or if you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. I go down to the river. I used to call home. I go down to the river. Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we just got the most amazing news. They have officially revealed the brand new map, Mississippi Acres, and oh my gosh, just from the trailer alone, this is the most beautiful looking map yet, with some of the coolest species I think we've ever seen. We're gonna have species like the gray fox, the raccoon, the bobwhite quail, alligators, this is going to be incredible. We saw Whitetail in the trailer as well. Oh my gosh, like I, I just don't even know what to say. I, I just woke up and got the news that this was being uh, added as the new map and I just I can't believe it. It doesn't look like we have beavers necessarily, but we did get raccoons, which was something a lot of people wanted. And man, just from watching this trailer, the alligators, they look pretty incredible. Just their animations and everything about them looks great and I gotta say I'm really liking the style of this map it looks a lot cooler than a, a lot of the other maps that we've had recently like the whole environment of it just looks beautiful and I'm starting to think this is going to be my favorite map of all time it just looks absolutely incredible and it's gonna be available to everybody December 7th which is not that far away honestly it is just incredible if they're able to release one at the beginning of December. I don't think we've ever had a early December release before as, as long as I remember at least. I think it's all been late December. So the fact that we're finally able to get an early December release is pretty incredible. I mean that's only like less than three weeks away which is crazy to think about. I am very interested to see what type of gun we're gonna get with a map like this. Uh, they didn't really show a gun as far as I could tell. They showed like a few of the species. They definitely didn't show all of them in the trailer. I don't know if they said anything during the EW livestream. If so, then I'll kind of uh, talk about that a little bit soon. Because I'm kind of taking in all the information as we go here since I uh, just woke up and have unfortunately missed the actual stream itself. So. That's a little bit sad, but it looks like we do have a... Uh, looks like we do actually have a list of all the other species here real quickly. Uh, we've got Eastern Turkey Cottontail, or Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. We've got Feral Pig and Black Bear as the last species. This is going to be really cool. I am very excited. Okay, so as I'm editing this video, uh, this is a future editor scarecrow. I just found out that there's actually a little bit more information. So the brand new gun that we're getting is going to be a small caliber weapon. It is going to be the bolt action 22 H. I can't say I've ever heard of 22 H before I've heard or actually never mind. I have that's 22 Hornet, right? I think that might be 22 Hornet. Let me do a quick search. 
I think 22H is 22 Hornet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, as uh, as I'm doing a little more research right now, it is the 22 Hornet. So that's actually a caliber that I've talked about in the past that I really wanted to see in the game. Uh, that's amazing. It's not what I expected out of this, but that's super cool. Having a bolt action 22 Hornet. That's going to be a lot of fun to use, and I'm assuming we'll be able to use it on stuff like the foxes and the raccoon, and maybe even the quail if we're lucky. That's going to be pretty awesome. Another thing that I'm reading as I go over uh, everything after I've finished recording this video and I'm just kind of editing and looking through the description is uh, that there is going to be trash cans that the uh, raccoons can actually interact with. It sounds like uh, that's actually going to be a common thing that we'll see is raccoons raiding trash cans. I, to be honest, I just thought that was for the trailer, uh, but it looks like that's actually going to be a thing. They will be raiding garbage cans, which is incredible. That's a new thing. I, they've never tried anything quite like that before, so I'm really interested to see how this is going to play. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. I can tell that already. But uh, I, I guess without uh, further ado, we should probably get back to the uh, the main recording of the video. I just uh, wanted to real quickly interject with a little more information that I learned while editing this. So uh, yeah, let's uh, jump back to it. I also did quickly want to mention that this is going to be a simultaneous launch, so everybody will get this map the exact same day, which is something we've been asking for for a very, very long time, so that's super cool to see. We will all get to experience the map on the very same day, which is fantastic. This is a major step in the right direction, and I'm sure all of you are going to be very excited for that, so that's pretty incredible. And I'm really happy to uh, see that they've decided to go this route. Another thing I did want to mention is, uh, from what I'm seeing right now, though like I said I was not able to catch the EW stream so I don't have all of the uh, information on what they might have talked about, but it doesn't look like this is going to contain any waterfowl at all. I mean, bobwhite quail are the only bird species that I'm uh, seeing on this list, so that's very interesting. I'm not sure... I'm not sure why they decided to go in that direction, although I'm not going to complain because I honestly like all these species much better. This is going to be quite incredible, and I think this might be the most new species we've had in a little while. Let's see, we got the alligator, uh, the raccoon, the gray fox, eastern turkey, eastern cottontail, and bobwhite quail. That's six brand new species. That is just crazy, guys. We've never had six brand new species besides Verhonga from what I can remember. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down below what you guys think of this reveal trailer. Uh, in my opinion, this, I think, will probably be my most played map once it comes out. This looks to be quite incredible. And it's just what the game needed, in my opinion. It's quite different from any map we've ever had. And it looks like all the species are going to be pretty cool. I think I'm most excited for the raccoons to be honest i was really excited for alligators but seeing that we're gonna have raccoons is just insane i'm so excited to actually get to hunt them along with the gray foxes it's about time we got another fox species and then obviously the quail are going to be a lot of fun as well overall just from the trailer i think this map is going to be my favorite but let me know down in the comments if it's going to be your favorite map. With that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any future uploads. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace! Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in loamy cotton fields. It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience, but now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forests? Or try flushing a flock of bobwhite quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem, requires some firepower. Or 
If you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. Down to the river. 